Uh, David Hill here at Eisenhower High School. This is Ronnie Lott Stadium. I, sure, I know you guys know who Ronnie Lott is, right? We want to talk about that. We know who that is. So it, it, you've got a great name behind you. It's got to be nice to be able to come out and play on such a fantastic field, stadium, and everything. But you guys are off to a fantastic start, all right? 6-0 and yeah. on the season, heading into game I can't believe it's already game seven. Can you believe that? Yeah. It's a fast season. So here I am standing here with three of Eisenhower's impact players. And I'll start here on my right with O'Shea Davis. Who O'Shea, you you do basically everything. Yeah. A little bit. I saw you at the snack stand about 10 minutes ago. You were selling <laughs> snacks. <laughs> no, you weren't doing that. But you do everything out here, right? Yeah. So we got O'Shea Davis, corner mostly, yeah. and and all-purpose utility. Okay, and we got Caesar Ayala, who's the quarterback, as you can see, nice and tall. Kind of got a Marcus Mariota look to you. Yeah. That's not so bad, right? No. Okay. Yeah. And now, now we come to. You see if I can get this right. Satawa, Bamo, Fiamoa, Laomea. Okay, see, I got to work on those names. Laomea. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, because I can't have this guy get mad at me. If he catches me, I'm, I'm done. Okay, offensive line, defensive line. Okay, talk to me how important it is in this day and age with this football team. How important is that offensive line and defensive line play? And I know you probably anchor that. How important is it to this football team? O-line, uh, I don't know, like, we work together, mm -hmm. get it done, create lanes for the running backs, Okay. give time for a quarterback. Okay. Yeah. Now here's what, I, here's what I hear about you, and I know you're a little soft-spoken now, but here's what the coaches say about you. You ready for this? Nice as you can be now, but does it change when you go between those stripes? Do you change? What, what happens when you step on that field and play? <laughs> um, I just go out there and play hard. Right. Do what I'm supposed to do. Right. Play the way I believe the game should be played. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's all you can do. And I think that's fantastic. Caesar, you're the quarterback. So that puts you in a leadership role yes, sir. for this football team. Is that a is that a role that you obviously enjoy? Um, how do you how do you use that role effectively for this football team? I mean, I just do what I just do what I could do. I mean, I I'm, I got a big bond with like all the players and everything. Mm -hmm. So like, I mean, no matter what, we're always gonna be together. So I'm always gonna do my job for them. So I just I just do my part, and then from there we go on. What happens when? And not everything. Your, your record is perfect, but not everything goes perfectly. I'm sure out there on the field. What do you do in those situations, or what if a situation comes up and you've got to make something happen? What do you say? What do you do? I mean, first of all, we come to the sideline. We just forget about it. Next play, we worry on about the next play. If we do something wrong, no matter what, you just got to forget about it. You go, go on to the next play. Okay. O'Shea, your turn to talk, okay? Um, I, I know that you do a little bit of everything for this football team. You're all over the field. Um, how important is your role on this football team in terms of not just in terms of play, but in terms of how you conduct your business outside of football? Grades, for example, academics, how important are those things? Um, uh, academics is very important to me. You know, averaging a 3.03 .03 in my regular, trying to graduate early. And, um, yeah, just uh, focusing on my team, making plays for them. That's what I do. What is the advantage to graduating early? You talked about it. You've got the grades to do it. What's the advantage to you to graduate early? Um, the advantage for me is going up to the school early, getting to learn the plays, getting to, um, you know, know the players, and getting bigger weight-wise. I think that's excellent. A lot of, you know, a lot of players are doing that these days, getting the grades they need and getting up to college early. Let's talk a little bit about college. I want to talk to you a little bit about college and uh, your particular ideas about where you want to go and what challenges that. How excited are you about the college opportunity? Um, I'm really excited because like everything about this process is a blessing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just thankful. Yeah. And your grades are your grades are outstanding. Talk to me about your academics. How important that is. Oh uh, yeah. No, I always liked having good grades. But then, like, I don't know, football just came up, and then it was an advantage to have good grades. Now, as, as big as you are, who, who who holds you accountable for If you don't do good, if you don't do well in the grade, who gets after you? Mom, dad, both? Who? Both of them. <laughs> yeah. Still afraid of them? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> He's, I love you. I love you, man. I can't wait to see you play tomorrow. How about, how about the whole great thing in college in terms of, Caesar? talk to me a little about that in terms of how important that is, not only for you, but how important has the coaching staff made that be? You're talking about grade-wise? Grade-wise. Yeah, grade-wise. I mean, like going up to college, you always got to have your grades. You can even, it starts in high school, first of all, from beginning to end. You just got to finish it. And from there, I mean, that's, how, that's just how it works. Yeah. 
And there's a, there's a payoff for that, no question about it. Well, it's, it's good to talk to you guys early. Um, I know you're ramping up and getting gearing up for tomorrow night's game. We're excited to be here. We're going to cover it from head to toe. And uh, even at the end, there's somebody that's going to turn out to be the player of the game. And it's interesting because it doesn't always turn out to be the impact players, but at the end of the day, we'll talk about who that player of the game is and, uh, and see how you guys turn out tomorrow. We're excited to be here tomorrow. Wish you the best of luck, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow as well, okay? This is David Hill from Ronnie Lott Stadium at Eisenhower High School with three of their top players, three of their impact players as they get ready to take on Rim of the World. It's, it's a unique name for a high school. However, it will be a challenge. Every game is, and these guys are ready for it. David Hill here with HSPN Sports at Eisenhower High School.